Hey, what's going on? Veggie Cash today, and today I'm going to be talking about the Dell XPS 15 9560, which I have right here, and the new Dell XPS 15 9570. So, which computer should you get, and should you make the upgrade? And this is just kind of a fireside chat. I own the 9560, just to make that explicitly clear. I do not own the 9570. But I am qualified to talk about the differences because I've used this computer and they've simply upgraded some of the performance and they've moved the camera. So I had a lot of people commenting on my last video saying, that's not the 9570. I know it's not the 9570. I don't personally own the 9570. But what I'm doing is I'm answering some questions about the difference between the 9560 and the 9570 and should you make that investment to get the new one. So we're gonna jump into that content right now, but before we do, yet to subscribe to the channel, highly recommend doing so. If you've yet to jump on the email list and you're a graphic designer, whether a student or a professional, looking to up your game, grow your business, or just get started, jump on the email list, coming out with a course, and you're gonna have an exclusive early bird special if you get on the email list. And you can grab a link to that in the description below. You don't want to miss that. If you're curious about where to get this Dell XPS 15 out of the 9560 or the 9570, link in the description below. Grab that. That is an affiliate link. It will help out this channel with a small commission to me at no extra cost to you. I greatly appreciate you using that link. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the Dell XPS 15 has incredible build quality. I'm going to show you some video of the 9560. It is built extremely well. All aluminum chassis carbon fiber keyboard deck good key responsiveness when you click the keys they're quiet they're soft they're very easy to type on so that is a very great feature about the dell xps 15. now another great thing is the 4k screen now for a graphic designer let's talk about that a lot of people are saying okay well it's adobe rgb so your color space like it's kind of off but as screens are concerned, it is gonna be the most true to color out of most screens on the market. Even compared to the MacBook Pro, compared to a lot of the HD screens, the 4K screen is gonna be the most color accurate. It's not gonna be 100% color accuracy, it's RGB uh, versus if you're printing something CMYK, there's gonna be some major differences there. But for the general public, I'm gonna say, this will be the best that you can get, okay? Not perfect know that next thing i want to talk about is the dell xps 50 9560 versus the 9570 as far as ram is concerned you can now get the exact same ram you can get 16 gigs of ram or you can get 32 gigs of ram for either of these computers so for a graphic designer if your concern is running multiple applications at the same time i personally have 32 gigs of ram in this computer here uh, but 16 gigs of RAM works very well, so you can definitely snag that. Another thing I want to talk about is the processor. This computer has the 7th generation i7 processor. The new Dell XPS 15 comes with the 8th generation. This is really good because it's faster and it's efficient. You can also get the i9 in the Dell XPS 15 9570. That I would not recommend quite yet because you don't need that amount of power and I've been hearing of some thermal and overheating issues with that computer. So I would hold off on getting the i9 until we get some more developments, until it improves a little bit more. So for now, rather you get the 9560 and the 9570, I recommend still the i7 processor. That is a great processor for doing graphic design, video editing, motion graphics, etc. It's gonna run very well, especially when you pair it to at least 16 to 32 gigs of RAM and when it's paired with the GTX 1050 graphics processing unit, which the 9560 has. The 9570 now has the GTX 1050 Ti, which is gonna be a bit of an upgrade, um, but nothing that's gonna really blow you out of the water. Um, so I'm just trying to give you some perspective on the 9560 versus the 9570. Is it worth the purchase? Um, if you wanna be up to date with the latest technology, then yes, it's gonna have the latest i7 processor, which is what I recommend. It's gonna have the latest GPU, and it's gonna have the most upgraded performance as far as RAM is concerned. All right, now let's talk about the hard drive. I would recommend solid state hard drive, nothing less, but that seems to be what comes standard with all Dell XPS computers, whether the 9560 or the 9570. I'd recommend getting about 512 gigs of solid state hard drive and then grabbing some extra solid state hard drives for the side. And what I mean by that is just external drives like the Samsung, which I'll link in the description below. Fantastic hard drive, very quick, very responsive, great read and write times. Um, that way you can save all of your extra files because your computer will load up rather quickly with your images and with your graphic design files, especially if you're gonna be getting into motion design or video editing. 
file storage space goes so fast, it's insane. Another thing I wanna talk about is the camera. So as a lot of people were commenting on my last video, because I do have the Dell XPS 15 9560, not the 9570, I will say that again. Um, it has a camera here for the 9560, whereas the 9570, the camera is in the center. It still isn't at the top of the screen, which frustrates me a little bit because whenever you use this, it looks like somebody's like looking up your nose. Um, but because of the such a thin bezel, as you see around here, the very thin bezel, they had to put the camera down there. So it's understandable that you would do that. Um, that's just life. Uh, so this gives you a bit of perspective on the Dell XPS 15 differences between the new 9570 and the old 9560. I hope this video has helped you. Please grab the comment submission below if you want me to answer a question for you on the channel. If you head down in the description below, you can check that out. Don't forget to grab a link for this computer if you're looking to pick it up, help out this channel, and also jump on that email list so you don't miss out on the new course coming out in the future. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I will see you here on the next episode.